Welcome to Health Talks. I'm Gail Hogan, and today we're talking with Dr. Natasha Monga about the latest in mammography available right here at the James. Dr. Monga, let me start with basics here. Why is a mammography important? Screening mammograms are essential for detecting breast cancer early, which is really the goal um, of obtaining the mammogram. And how often should people have mammograms, and at what age should they start? That's a great question. We recommend starting screening mammograms at age 40 and obtaining a screening mammogram every year. Um, that's really been proven to um, have the greatest mortality benefit over time. And does family history have anything to do with how often you should have a mammogram? Family history is very important and we recommend um, that all women have a high risk assessment by the age of 30 to determine if they truly are high risk and need more frequent imaging. So you're using new technology, imaging technology. Can you tell me more about this and why it's helpful to patients? That's right. We're using a type of mammogram called Clarity HD, which is a tomosynthesis mammogram. That basically means it's a 3D mammogram that helps us see more clearly what's going on in the breast and reduce the likelihood of calling you back for an abnormal mammogram. This is helpful to patients in that regard. How is it helpful to you as a clinician? For us, uh, these images are better resolution, they're better pictures, and they're really helping us uh, define what's going on in the breast um, earlier on. With tomosynthesis images, we can reconstruct the breast in a way that we can minimize the chance that we'll call you back for what's called a false positive. And so using this technology, we're able to reduce that by a significant amount. Can you get results sooner? Um, we read our mammograms really quickly, <laughs> um, so it uh, is a shorter acquisition time, so it's a shorter period of time that a patient will be in the um, imaging suite, um, and it's also a more comfortable experience uh, because of the smart curve paddle system that we're using. Can you explain that a little bit more about the comfort factor for patients? Absolutely, and so um, this technology um, fits along the natural curvature of the breast and patients are telling us that that's really improving the comfort of the experience. Is this new technology used for screening purposes, to diagnose, or both? It's used for both. Um, it's really important in this screening uh, form of, of mammograms uh, because it really reduces the amount of callbacks that we have for these patients. And what's important to know, important to know in the state of Ohio is that all women can obtain screening mammograms with tomosynthesis at no cost. And the diagnosis as well? In terms of diagnostics, we use tomosynthesis uh, to obtain our images, um, which really also helps us improve um, the likelihood of detecting cancer. And I suppose not having to come back or that wait for patients takes a lot of stress off patients. It absolutely does. There's naturally a lot of anxiety that goes into uh, this type of examination. And so if we can do anything that we can to reduce that anxiety with technology such as this, uh, we're happy to do that for our patients. So they don't have to hold their breath quite as long? That's right. So the way that we obtain our mammograms at the James is with tomosynthesis technology that only requires a single breath hold as opposed to holding your breath for a longer period of time. This new imaging is available at the James. Where else? We have the most advanced technology at all of our locations, which are all accredited as breast centers of excellence with the American College of Radiology, as well as two mammography mobile units. Um, so we're able to offer this latest and greatest technology at all of these locations. And in addition to that, we have the same subspecialized radiologists reading your screening mammogram and your diagnostic mammogram wherever you might be. So patients don't have to worry about going to different locations that they're going to get different services. That's exactly right, and I think that really um, helps us stand out at the James because we have subspecialized radiologists who do this each and every day, and no matter where you go, it'll be the same radiologist reading your exam. So I guess, why should someone choose the James for a mammogram? We have subspecialized radiologists and subspecialized physicians across the board um, who are really uh, focused on your care as a patient. And as we all know, there's no routine cancer, and we are focused on that mission. Dr. Monga, thank you very much for talking with me today. Thank you so much. And thank you for joining us and watching Health Talks.